2D EPL stands for 2D Experimental Pilot Line and it's a project which has the ambition to generate a European ecosystem for the production and the fabrication of 2D materials and its devices. Um, these devices find their application mostly in sensors, electronics and photonics and it's the full idea that all those devices are fabricated at full wafer scale. The ambition and the goal of the project is to go towards first demonstrators, um, find a path, work with the industry to demonstrate how these materials can be used, what are potential routes and what can, in, in joint work with the industry, we can also develop further paths towards the uptake of 2D materials within the semiconductor industry. The work being done by the 2DPL and the Graphene flagship is important to the European community uh, because graphene was actually isolated here in, in Europe first. And with many technologies, the research begins in Europe and then is outsourced and suddenly China and the United States become the, the leaders in these fields. So the European Union actually put a lot of money and investment into 2D materials because they see it as a really crucial jumping off point for industries to stay relevant and competitive. The advantages of a 2D material is that you, you can thin these materials down till its ultimate thickness. So the ultimate thickness is only one atomic layer and the 2D material can be thinned down till that one atomic layer. If you compare, for example, to just silicon, which is a 3D material, then if you start thinning it down, it gets surface roughness and you start to scatter electrons. With 2D materials, you can avoid that issue. The manufacturability of 2D materials is, is, is very difficult. So today, if you have a monolayer 2D material, then that monolayer 2D material is influenced by its surroundings, which makes that the integration is more challenging compared to, compared to other materials. So our work is trying to understand how these 2D materials behave and how that integration can be done in a reliable and also reproducible manner. At IMEC we focus on the uh, 2D transition metal decalcogenides because they are semiconductors and they find natural application in the semiconductor industry. You need to have a bridge between the very advanced uh, development that are done in the academic level and, and the industry. Some of the problems have to be addressed from, with technological, from a technological standpoint uh, and this is what we do uh, at IMEC. Within the project, um, two companies have designed critical tools for the automation of the deposition of the 2D materials. On one hand, we are working together with Extron and they have built a MOCVD reactor, which is 200 and 300 mm compatible. And the unique feature as well is that this tool can carry um, sapphire wafers. Exxon is uh, the world leading uh, compound semiconductor and deposition tool, right? So we are actually the leader of uh, uh, 35 silicon carbide MOCVD. And 2D materials, you, you needed to do it on wafer scale. And MOCVD have shown to be uh, one of the most, if not the most promising uh, technique to do it. These are very new materials. So all the processes, all the gases that are being used, all the technicals aspect needed a very big manufacturer of tools to be there to help. So uh, this is what Exxon is doing mainly with IMEC. So within the 2D PL, we need to transfer 2D materials from a growth wafer to a, to a target wafer. Um, and we have a dedicated tool built for this by, by SUS Microtech which enables the delamination of a 2D material from its growth wafer. And SUS has actually adapted one of their tools in order to make this 2D material delamination possible. Multi-project wafer runs is a concept where customers join a certain area on the wafer for a certain process flow. This allows the customers to pay a lower price for, for the final products and to have less uh, risk in, uh, in sharing these uh, technologies. 
the integration is done in all one go, which reduces on one hand the cost for the fabrication of the devices and on the other hand for the project partners offering the MPW runs. The importance of having universities, industries and companies on board is to get their um, feedback and understanding on the needs that they have. First, you need to, to uh, influence the development of advanced technologies uh, and at IMEC we are, we are uh, let's say, pushing uh, these new technologies ahead. If in the future, which we are more and more confident now, that these materials are going to enter industry, Europe will be the first to do it. And I think that for the future of, uh, of the market of electronics, Europe should be there. So this is a very important project uh, for us, of course, as European industries. For this project, we hope that we have um, generated the first understanding towards the integration of 2D materials in a semiconductor relevant environment and also with the offerings of the MPW runs that we have reached out to the community and also have gathered their feedback which is relevant to take the next step into further projects and further developments of these devices.